for a one year later experienced team and your injuries are not as surplus as they were last year, the boys had a good day today. Yeah, they did. Uh, and, and actually, uh, our injuries have, have hurt us a little bit. Losing uh, Gustavo uh, early in the season has changed our makeup a little bit. Uh, we didn't have Kyle, our left back, today. Uh, we had taken a hit against Denver that uh, we're trying to nurse him back. Um, wasn't sure about Walter, but Walter was able to give us 90 minutes and, and played fantastic. And, but uh, the boys are, are definitely playing well. We're playing good soccer. We just haven't always been kitting the result lately. Uh, and, and Denver, uh, uh, you know, us getting the tie, a little frustrated we didn't get the win. We had gone up one nothing, But boys played hard and, and fought through that. And then today, going down one nothing, it, you know, needed to see character. And today we did. Today we saw that the boys could, could come out and fight through that adversity, settle themselves down a little bit, get a goal before the half, uh, and then game was on. And uh, we, we've struggled in the second half, um, last several games, and, and today uh, the boys played well. Uh, we got uh, some, some great opportunities to get in, uh, got some nice finishes, uh, you know, made a little stressful there at the end, letting Air Force get, get one. I don't feel that we should have given up, but uh, Air Force is a good team. I mean, you gotta give Air Force credit based on that they went and beat New Mexico at New Mexico. That's not easy to do, uh, and so uh, Air Force, you know, probably a little tired from uh, from the flight, uh, having to do an overtime game like we did. Um, but uh, I felt it was a good game, and I, I think our boys played really well, played hard, um, and uh, we got a good a good win. Uh, I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked uh, uh, Air Force coach: Coming up on New Mexico, two different styles. Just just talk about. It. Um, uh, New Mexico being different style? Y yes. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the teams, we're all kind of playing this 4-3-3 system. And everybody kind of looks for that diagonal ball. Uh, and, and New Mexico is just very good at it. I mean, they're, they're a team that's deep in tradition and going to the tournament. Uh, they're, they're not rattled by things. They, they tend to stay very calm and they're just very committed to their system and, and what they do well. Um, us being young, inexperienced, you know, we, we against New Mexico struggled to to keep the ball in the second half and continue the pressure that we were getting in the first half that was leading to that success. Uh, at Denver, very physical team, and, and again, looks for the diagonal ball. They look to get in and around you, uh, and Air Force does too. Uh, their uh, Air Force number number five is a great little player, great little winger that's very uh, quick and tricky on the ball, and they look for him. And, uh, we had a freshman that uh, uh, I guess wasn't intimidated, so he did. Dylan did a very good job of just trying to keep him in front of him and uh, not overcommit. And, and uh, so I think a lot of these teams seem to be we seem to be very similar in style, uh, and why I think the games are just a battle. Um, but it's great. I mean, it's what you want. Uh, you want to see good soccer, and I think the fans should go away from this saying that both teams fought hard and, and played well. Is it better for the conference that it's a, it's, it's a lot more um, experience has stepped in and it's balanced from top to bottom this year? I think so. Um, you know, it's it's interesting because, uh, you know, New Mexico has taken a loss that's going to hurt them in, the, you know, the RPI, the, the whole national ranking. Um, and, and then Bakersfield taking a loss. So uh, our conference was, was up there, but now we're beating up on each other. So I don't know how that's going to do for, for national rankings and RPIs and you know, trying to get more than one team in the conference. Those are those are critical things. You never want to have just one team represent. You want to get two or three if you can. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Mountain Pacific has been fortunate that the last couple of years they've gotten two, sometimes three. So hopefully we you know we can make that happen. And for our guys, you know, it's it's just uh, understanding a, a whole new dimension of uh, playing against big boys. And uh, I think. We've played against these teams in the past, you know, in non-conference matches, and we've fared, you know, 50-50. Um, and so now it's an everyday thing, and our boys are having to learn that what you do in training has got to emulate what's going to, you know, emulate what's going to happen in the game, and uh, they're committed to that. So. One last question: Your next uh, set up your ne next opponent. Denver, who <laughs> we just played on Friday. <laughs> so you know, we'll go into the video session, watch the things that we did well. The things that they created some some issues for us, 
uh, and, and try to come up with uh, a good game plan up in uh, higher altitude and, and probably a little colder weather and, uh, you know, see if we can uh, get a result on the road. Uh, I mean, we're, we're getting it at home. Can we get it on the road? And that's going to be critical in us getting to the conference tournament. So, Coach, introduce yourself and then we'll close this out. Uh, Steve Jones, head men's soccer coach at Houston Baptist University. And it's Jerry Lee Woodley Jr. with a King Size View College Sports Report.